Welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another BT Neanderthal video. Hope you're all doing fantastic today. Tomorrow is a very exciting day. I believe at 10 a.m. PST or my time I believe is 1 p.m. EST. There will be the ladder start for Project Diablo 2 and this is going to be a fantastic event. But basically this is going to be a video quickly going over um, my plan for the ladder, maybe give a couple tips. The eight-man team comp that we have right now, um, which we plan pushing all the weekend and hopefully get as much content covered as we can and see what this new mod has to offer, as well as, you know, hopefully get into some Ubers. We'll see, we'll see how that all actually pans out. The eight-man team comp is currently looking like and this could change uh in the next day if you know maybe more balance changes happen or something like that but currently it's looking like sorceress uh i'm gonna be going sorceress i switched from barbarian because barb's uh got a 60 percent damage reduction on leap attack through its synergies and i'm not sure if i want to take that risk i might go and test some of that today but the thing I'm going to be trying for this ladder start is going to go, I'm going to go Sorceress and probably going to go Frozen Orb and like go a little bit hybrid, maybe Combustion as well as for the fire skill. Um, Assassin in the group is probably going to be running Light Traps. Uh, we have the other Sorceress, we're going to have two Sorceress. Uh, one of each class and two Sorceress is the comp. Static and Teleport is probably the, the main thing the other Sorceress is going to go for. Probably some Ice Barrage or something. Uh, Druid from Fire to Wind. The Pally is going to be a healer with auras, you know, like Conviction, Salvation, things like that. Uh, the healer in uh, an 8-man group is actually really strong. I don't know if you watched my 8-man vid, but like, you could see how strong the healer is and... Now that Holy Nova is a fix apparently, like Holy Nova is going to be amazing as well. Barbarian is going to be a leap barb, kind of similar to like the vanilla LOD 8 man runs. And he's also going to go War Cries, so it'll be kind of nothing out of the normal there. Necromancer is actually a pretty powerful skill. Somebody asked me the other day, like, what's the most improved class? I'd probably say a Necromancer, honestly. Uh, it Necromancer kind of struggled unless you really had good gear in the late game but now it seems like it's in a really good spot so I'd say that's probably the most improved class overall and we're gonna have a curse uh, support necro probably rocking lore resist decrep and then he'll run like extra points into skellies I don't think that third curse will be important yet maybe for like maps but by the time we get to maps I'm thinking we'll have the Necromancer will have enough points to maybe put a third point into like Weekend or something. Uh, the Amazon is probably going to go from Javazon respecking into Cold. We'll see how that all pans out. I'm really not 100% sure on the, the Amazon spec and how that should be played. But I think it's still good to have one of them in our group just in case. Um, I'll be streaming this whole like ladder a ton. So definitely be checking out my stream if you have not already twitch.tv slash bt neanderthal uh the the l is a one people bt neanderthal one so don't miss that i might be making a barb as well after i get some basic gear for the character i kind of want to play barb like it, I, I wanted to start barbarian but now i'm just like it might be a little bit too much of a risk because i i know i want to you know Worst case scenario, with the sorcerers, I can teleport to places and boss farm a little bit, even if it's, like, weaker. But, you know, that's worst case scenario. There's other classes that can do it. I'm not saying that sorcerers is still the best for, for everything, but, like, just for the way that I play it, the way I like to play, I'm probably going to go sorceress. Ladder 1, guys, is going to be a lot of fun, so I hope to see you guys all there, and... Hopefully we'll see a lot of build diversity like we've never seen before and a bunch of insanely awesome items throughout the ladder that you just wouldn't even like think of. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some cool items and awesome metas that we, that like combinations of items that we wouldn't even think would be viable that are now viable. So 
He's changed the itemization around quite a bit, as you might have seen from my corruption video. And overall, if you go onto the wiki, you can see there's just like a ton of changes to rune words, unique sets, and, and things like that. Also, I want to mention that every class seems to have viability, and if it doesn't have viability, in your opinion, and you have like solid, like, feedback for a specific reason why you feel like your character is not doing well, or your build, and like, you know, solid data behind that, Senpai will work on that to make sure that that character is viable. I did ask him what his plan is for like changing things during ladder, and he said if something is like total trash, then he'll try to bring it up with the other classes. And if something's like, like he's gonna let things go, it'll be similar to like Path of Exile for those that have played Path of Exile. It'll be similar in the fact that like if something is super overpowered, then that's like absolutely just ridiculous then he's gonna bring it down if it has to be brought down but overall like he's gonna let people have fun even if stuff is overpowered and we'll see how that season one goes so that's i asked him specifically some of those questions he's gonna try not to touch anything as long as it's not way too ridiculous and also you know he's gonna be bringing up builds from the ground if they're like super bad as well so if you don't know uh what to choose for a class then you can go watch my videos where i cover literally every skill in the game i have seven videos one for each class and i cover every one of those skills there's timestamps in the description i'll put all those videos actually as a link in the description so you can go look at them if you're interested after you've chosen a skill that looks interesting to you, then just read the synergies and just build towards it. Also, this is still Diablo 2, and a quick tip for all of the people that are maybe returning is the strategy of enough strength and dexterity to wear your gear and the rest into vitality for attribute points is still a really solid way to go. So I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, hanging out. You guys are legends. You're beasts. And uh, hope you enjoyed the closed and open beta footage that we I've been putting out. And maybe hopefully you guys have been testing things and you have your own plans. I'd be interested to see in the comments what you guys are actually going to be playing. I want to see like you know what what we might have for build diversity. So thank you all again. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitch because like I'm going to be streaming like a lot. I said, and uh, yeah, good luck on ladder one.